here outside Starbucks Libis and I'm about to try and see if they have their plant-based menu available. It's a bit of a line. Um, you know what? I'll just probably go down. <laughs> the line is too long. Hey guys, we're here to try Starbucks' new plant-based menu. I guess the plant-based craze is here to stay. Unlike last time wherein we went into the plant-based burger challenge, pretty much not knowing what vegan and what vegetarian food should taste like, this one at least we're coming into it with some idea now. So we're gonna be trying the three items on the Starbucks menu. Two of them are pastries and one is a pasta. So for the first item on the menu, let's try the mochi bun. My expectation from this is that it's trying to probably mimic the Tim Ho Wan pork buns. Yeah. Although it looks kind of like a toasted shop pao. The mochi roll is it's actually 85 pesos for this small thing. Yeah, it's pretty much a size away pandesal. I think it's not it. We reheated it. We may have overdone it by a little bit. So if you're gonna buy this and have this to go. Um, you definitely can't reheat it. Best consumed right after buying it. Yep. But as for the filling, yep. I think I, I like it. it. I really like it. <laughs> Asado. Lots of hoisin, peppery. It doesn't taste like it's plant based. I can't really taste the meat. Let me try it here on its own. Okay, so it's minuscule, but. Definitely the texture is there. Mm. Chewy, it's bouncy, like maybe that's yeah. mushroom. I like it. Mm, I like it. I like it. <laughs> and yeah, imagine if some. you're a vegan or vegetarian. If you're not eating meat and you have this, you'd that's be satisfied, good. yeah. Pretty solid. Yeah. Very dim sum y, Chinese y. That I changed my mood. I kind of want to have some dim sum right now. <laughs> If it was brought to me and blind tested, I probably wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah. Anyway, right. so let's move on to the minstrel. So this is a puffed pastry with black sesame seeds. I really don't know what to expect with this one. I don't know if it's still Chinese or Italian, so this is going to be a surprise for me. So. <laughs> Pretty bland. I don't know what to make of it. I couldn't really make anything of it, but I like the texture. The puff pastry is pretty good. There's a sausage. It's just... Um, it's alright. Okay, yeah. Not sure why there are oils, because this is plant-based meat. So... Maybe, maybe because of the puff pastry. Maybe, maybe because of the puff pastry, right. yeah. And if it tastes kind of just like alright, I keep reminding myself to like, you know, if you're a vegetarian yeah. and you haven't had meat mm. for so long, that's what my basis should be. <laughs> of course, you can't get the umami of like yeah. real it's still, meat. It's still not a living animal to yeah. begin with, so kudos to those who made it. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the last one. Yeah, so the last one is a plant-based lasagna. It has its ingredients at the back, and I think the biggest question would be the cheese. Yeah. So they use plant-based mozzarella, plant-based cheddar, and of course, most importantly, plant-based meat, so... By the looks of it, though, mm -hmm. the cheese would definitely be vegan because it's not melty. Yeah, just stint mean... with um, vegan cheeses. Mm -hmm. The size is pretty standard. Yeah. Very tiny slice. Yeah, I mean, unless you're eating lasagna at home, it's never really any bigger than this, but I guess it's not it's nothing to complain about. There's um, not much meat sauce. Yeah. It tastes just like how it smells. And it smells when we reheated this. It, I, I thought it smelled like... Can I say it? It smells like organics in a hot car, <laughs> which is a box. <laughs> <laughs> the strong taste, actually, mm. right? I, I guess I could use the term hempy again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Amongst the three, this tastes like plant the most. Yeah. More planty 
than a eggplant farm. <laughs> like I've had eggplant farm that tasted. No, but they use meat. That's right, that's right. But you can have eggplant parm without any meat whatsoever. But yeah, I mean, that might might be a little biased. And of course, eggplant parm is using real cheese. The usual suspects here are mushroom, herbs. But although I think it's consistent that vegan cheeses are actually very soft. So the noodles are, are good texture, it's al dente. Yeah, I can barely taste any meat-like flavor. The cheese really took the lead for this one, right? By the way, this one is at 195. Mm. So the barbecue bun is 85. A mince roll is 95. It is okay. So let's rate it. Mm. Not on price, not on value, but more on the flavor. It's the barbecue mochi buns. What's your rating? Probably a nine. Wow, that's pretty high. Yeah, I mean, if I'm vegetarian, craving yeah. Chinese pork buns. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's an experience. <laughs> and I like the. The mochi texture. A mixture of salty and sweet, so that's a good balance. For me, it's probably like an 8.5. Mm. So, again, she likes round numbers. <laughs> Just don't want to complicate my life. <laughs> yeah. If anyone would like to teach Denisa non integers, <laughs> you're welcome to message us below. <laughs> For the puff pastry, the minstrel, what's your rating? Probably a 5. Wow, that, that's pretty low. No, it's, <laughs> it's just half of 10. <laughs> Division. <laughs> For me, I think this is a 7.5. Yeah, wow. because like, I could probably crave this again. Wow. Yeah. And the lasagna. Mm, eight. Yeah. The score for me. Yeah. Everything, like as a whole, like their plant based menu. Mm -hmm. So, what's your average if you put that? Please don't ask me that. So, <laughs> About you first, what's your rating for this one? I'd rate it 7.5. Same as the pastry. The lasagna and the puff pastry are within the same realm of satisfaction. Your average is 7.3 for the whole menu. The 7.6. 7. 7. Uh, like a 7.8. 7. 7. 7. Alright, thanks again for joining us guys. If you liked this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll be eating lechon now after plant based. So. Beef <laughs> Thanks guys, see you again next time.